we are back with more AI Somnium files. So, last stream, for whatever reason, the stream kind of broke and quit earlier than I intended to. So if the ending of last stream seemed a bit cut off to you, I apologize. That was not planned. That happened completely outside of my control and against my will. But I, I stopped and saved right immediately after that. So we haven't missed much. The only thing that I would that happened that I would think is of note is that Mr. Mob Boss here has given Iris a GPS tracker to hide in her clothes on the off chance someone does successfully manage to kidnap her. Hopefully we won't need it, but I suspect we will. Hi, Nikki! So, that's what happened last time. So yeah, we are off to places. Hmm. Let's, let's go back to the merry-go-round where we found the body. Oop. I took Iris to Bloom Park. Yes, you did. Time checking every inch of the merry-go-round. Did you check check the column? Check the column. That's There's the place. There's nothing here. Guess not. Check. I I'm convinced that if there is something to be found here, it's going to be hidden in the column where we found Mizuki. Also, I have a theory about Renju and Mizuki and Shoko's family dynamic. I think there's a possibility that Mizuki may not be Renju's biological daughter. Because he seems very cold and very distant to me. And I do wonder if that might be an element of that. Not that, you know, stepdads and adoptive dads can't be great dads, but I do think that there might be an element of... I mean, because if Shogo did, say, cheat on him and then had a daughter with somebody else, and claimed it was Renju's and then he found out it wasn't, that could explain some of his very strange behavior, especially if he is caught up in some secret organization. But again, it's just theory, it's just me thinking to try to explain some of the strange behavior we've been seeing, because we haven't technically met Renju yet. So, it's, it's interesting that for someone who seems to be playing such a major role in this story, we have not had a chance to sit down and talk with him properly. In, in any meaningful capacity. So, I, I still don't think he is the killer, but I do think he's working for slash with the killers in some capacity. So we'll see how this pans out. <laughs> yeah. I also think that if Mizuki is, you know, not who we think she is, that she doesn't know. That if she's, you know, secretly a robot or secretly somebody else's child or something, then I, I don't think she knows. Hmm. I'm really, really wondering what Renju is up to. But, and there is also the other question of perhaps Renju is not being given a choice. Maybe he is being coerced into some of this behavior. But again, it, it's without having seen him interact with his daughter in any capacity and without having actually met him, it is hard to judge his actual character. Wanna race, Date? Race? Yeah, we talked about it yesterday. You wanna challenge me? Well, sure. Yeah, let's do it! We'll start here. 
here and end here. So we race around the merry-go-round? Right. Line up next to me. Hmm. What if the thing we need to see in the merry-go-round can only be seen when it's in motion? And because it's broken down, I don't think anyone's turned this thing on. And we're about to see it, I think. Set. Like, one of those old-school, early, like, animation wheel things that you'd spin it and then you'd see, like, like, a horse moving or something. Also, something weird about Mizuki is remember when she was bench pressing? I did the math, and she was bench pressing over 200, about 220 pounds. I'm pretty sure that's significantly more than she actually weighs. So, I mean, sure, it could be anime exaggeration of physical abilities, but also that would be really weird to just have a 12 year old girl be able to just bench press 220 pounds without any kind of, like, assistance. Hmm. I mean, I don't know if it's significant, but it's... It's interesting if you think when that, uh, as if you think about it, especially with the whole secret government angle, like. See, told you. Like, could Mizuki be like secretly some kind of like experiment or, you know, like a like a super soldier kind of situation? Maybe. I mean, I I I don't know. I'm just throwing shots in the dark based off things that I see. But it's interesting. Iris is the messenger of the gods. You've earned your namesake. <laughs> Do you know a lot about mythology? Huh? You said that Iris is a goddess in Greek mythology. And three days ago you were talking about Egyptian mythology. Mythology is neat. Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. The left eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is the moon. As it Iris told me three days ago, Horus's left eye is the eye of Wajet. Does that have any relation with the Wajet system? I mean, it would be strange to bring oh, it up if mythology? it doesn't. I actually don't know that much. Uncle taught me everything. Yeah. Six years ago, I used to come here with someone all the time. I, I really sincerely hope we get to meet this uncle. I suspect we will. Because I bet that there's going to be something interesting going on there. Perhaps he's a spy, this uncle. I mean, I, again, hard to judge at this point. But certainly something we're thinking about. Like, he basically said, here's a code name, here's some random facts. I used to call him uncle. Oh yeah, didn't he come up with a set too? And also there's the obvious uncle being kind of a reference to some spy movies. Like some old school spy movies, potentially. I mean, I don't know. Hard, hard to say. It could also just be a localization thing. We'll just have to keep playing and figure yeah, that's out. Right. That name is rooted in Egyptian mythology too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Horus 
Isis's mom is named Isis. But in ancient Egyptian, it's pronounced closer to Isa or Asa. Hmm. How do I explain this? <laughs> Horus's father's name is Osiris, and his mom's name is Isis. So Osiris is Isis's husband. Osiris was assassinated by his brother Set. After Set killed Osiris, he tore his body to pieces and threw it into the river. Isis was devastated. I can't believe I'm a widow at my age. But she didn't let it break her, because she had the power of life and death. All right, fine. If that's how it's gonna be, I'll just revive my husband. With a group of her friends, she gathered up Osiris's body and started the resurrection ritual. You know, as you do when something like this happens. Live! Shh, her. And so, Osiris was revived! Well, technically he wasn't all there, so he wasn't in one piece. But anyway... Isis was the goddess of life, death, and fertility. She was worshipped by all the land. I think I get the picture. But what does that have to do with your own name? There's a theory that the Greek goddess Iris is really based on the Egyptian goddess Isis. So Isis and Iris are connected? Yeah. And Isis sounded like Aset in ancient Egyptian. Which is where your stage name comes from. That's right. But remember, I didn't come up with the name. Yeah. R really? Yeah. Her uncle. Hmm. Definitely curious what he was thinking. It d does certainly sound like the way you would make up a code name, huh? For things. I mean, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Horace's arch enemy was Set, his uncle. His uncle? I told you earlier! Horace's father was Osiris, who was assassinated by his younger brother Set. Right, I see. Not only was he killed, he was shredded to pieces! So obviously, Horace was pissed! Drax, I'll never forgive you, Uncle Set! On the other hand, Set didn't like having Horus around. Oh, he's so annoying! Osiris said that I was supposed to be king. But now everyone's like, oh, Horus should be king. Are these idiots serious? Horus would be an awful king. Time to go to war! Yeah. <laughs> and so, a bloody war broke out. Just like that. And the winner was decided by a deadly game. What kind of game? They would disguise themselves as hippos, ford the river, and whoever gets to the other side first would win. That's what they decided. How oddly specific. Yeah, because don't don't mess with hippos. They will kill you. Hippos are some very dangerous animals. <laughs> so, for 80 years they fought. It was bloody and horrible. In the end, Horus won. Horus used a spear to cut off Set's foot and Wee Wee. Wee Wee? I believe she is referring to a male. Wait, why are you asking me? But Horus didn't come out of this unscathed. During the battle, Horus lost his left eyeball to Set. It's said that the left eye survived and traveled all over Egypt, gaining wisdom and experience. Horus had no idea that his left eye was wandering around on its own. What? Where did my eye go? Horus was totally bummed out. He went to see the god of wisdom, the moon, and time, Thoth. Damn, Set did that? That's brutal, dude. <laughs> Ask me about this in a few months when... Welcome to Dragon Tower comes out. Because my brain is going places and I can't really talk about it, but this this is funny to me. And I can't really talk about it. Alright, I'll use my moon power to heal you up. 
Yay, thank you, Mr. Thought. Okay, here it goes. Moon healing power! Ring, ring, ring! Thought cast his spell and Horace's eye came zooming in! <laughs> Zoom, click! Horace got his eye back. Although, in, in, for a moment of seriousness, I wonder if this is supposed to be foreshadowing for us losing Iba at some point. And from that day forward, his left eye had the power of the moon in it! It became the symbol of knowledge and healing, and revered as a sacred icon! So that's the Eye of Wadjet? Right! And it became the Eye of Providence? Yes! And do you think that's why we call it the Wadjet system? Probably, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I told you yesterday, I love moving around. And I especially love dancing. But... Mm? About three months ago, Mr. Ogira told me something. He said that I can't dance. Why? Uh -huh. I don't know. He said something about being over-reliant on dancing and neglecting my singing. Yeah, that that's kind of a fair criticism based off of uh, the performance that we've seen. You should stop dancing for now and practice singing. But during your live stream... She was dancing. Because I was... sad. After I stopped dancing, I lost so many fans. They said terrible things to me, like that I'm worthless if I can't dance. All I have is dancing. Just dancing. Hmm. In the end, we didn't find any new information on Renju. But I'm not too upset. This is what a criminal investigation is about. You don't always find what you're looking for. Hmm. Let's get going, Iris. Yeah, let's go. Hmm. Interesting. I really don't want to go here. Let's go talk to Oda. Because... Yeah. Certainly curious. Look who it is. Nice at laws. I see. It's not impossible. It's adorable. But why are you here? Well, are you... Ota... Uh... Date, can I... What did you do now? Or are you trying to apologize for what happened? Which would be fair. Look, I was gonna let you have it. But under the circumstances... Date, can I... What are you talking about? Mizuki, of course. You've been neglecting her. Don't you think she's at her limit? Mizuki stayed at one of the mermaid's houses last night. She was twisting and turning all night. He had to sleep in the same bed so she'd calm down. She called me this morning so I could pick her up. Normally, she'd be in school, but Mizuki had the day off for mourning. I thought that she shouldn't be alone. Why don't you try being nicer to Mizuki? I know she doesn't show it, but she's really hurting. She needs you, Date. She just doesn't want to trouble you. 
She's a remarkable, brave young girl. But also, there's like people trying to kill us and shoot at us and kidnap girls, so maybe hanging out with us is maybe not the best idea right now? But I mean, I do kind of get what they're going for. But also, like, you know, bad things are probably going to continue happening around us. You should try to understand how she feels. Nope. I've heard of them. Nizitlas, or Nice, is a satanic secret society. Like a cult. Mm -hmm. They sacrifice children. While the sacrifice is up all night screaming, the cult performs ritual acts. Their ranks are full of politicians, intellectuals, and business tycoons. They've yeah. only been active for a few decades. But some say that they've grown to be the largest secret society in the world. An organization so big that it absorbed the Freemasons and the Illuminati. Hmm. Keep talking. But even though their membership is huge, no one knows who their leaders are. Like, you've heard of the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds, right? It, it, are the leaders aliens? Is it gonna be aliens? I kinda hope it's aliens. But for Nice, there's nothing. No one knows who's running the cult. My guess is that they're being led by a group of super geniuses. Ota doesn't know about the Wanchet system or its connections to Nice. Iris found out just why they're after her. I'm also really, really have my fingers crossed because I really hope we get to have chupacabras in this game too. Like, don't tease me on this game. I, I would be immensely happy if they show up. Do I expect it? Not really, but I want them anyway. Pieces fit. If you believe everything she said. I do. I believe Iris 100%. Uh, you got any thoughts? Yes, it is. My hopes and dreams, my peace and my life, my light, my star, my sun, my goddess. She's like the laws of the universe itself, the embodiment of beauty. I am going to puke. An angel, a lover. Cute mascot to put on a body pillow? You're creepy. A guru, a wife, a soulmate, life itself. She's the object of my total devotion and worship. Snuck lover and wife in there. I would ignore it. And like I told you before, I'm Tessa's thrall. If she calls for me, I'll be there. Thanks, Ota. That makes me happy. I get the distinct impression she will never make that call. I mean, I don't blame her. Cool. Yeah, that's she. she certainly seems to have semi-consistent body posture when we talk about this stuff. And it definitely gives the vibe of at least some genuine fear. Which is definitely worth noting and part of the reason that I do at least believe that at least parts of her story are true. Or that she at least believes that they're true. I mean, it, it's gonna be hard to tell like how much of it is like 100% perfect. But I do believe that there is at least a chance that it is some kind of secret of society-esque thing of some kind. But I mean, sure, this game would probably get very fun and interesting if, a, if it's space robots. But, I mean, I'm a bit of- we'll, we'll see. We'll see where this game goes, if this game just goes full, full off the deep end. I kind of hope it does. But, you know. Excitement right, abounds. Let's get going. You got it! Date. If something happens to Tessa, let me know, okay? I'll come help right away. Me too! 
Uh, no. If gun-wielding maniacs show up again, I'm not calling the 12-year-old. Or the guy who looks like he'd probably lose a fight to a wet paper bag. <laughs> I'll save you no matter what, Iris. Thank you both. Yeah, she looks upset me. at that. I promise. Yeah. I don't want to go here. I don't think this is going to go anywhere positive. <sighs> Let's get this over with. no one in the garden cool let's leave so must be inside oh right. i have detected a living organism in the garden you should look around no mm. fun nobody's around It's a garden lantern. I said garden lantern, not hardened lanyard. I'm aware of that. Okay. Wait a minute. What the? Is he Iris's dad? That would certainly explain a few things. I bet he's Iris's father. So. Date? What's wrong? We need to leave, I think. I think we should leave before somebody sees us. I, I think we need to go. You said you don't know Sosajima, right? Right, I don't. What about your mom? Does she know so? I don't know. I don't think she does. Do you ever talk politics at home? Anything like that? Not particularly. Why are you asking me this? Um... Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Why, why did... I, I knew us going here was not gonna end well. We told you you can't come in here! You can't do what you want just because you're a cop. You're trespassing. That's a crime, you know. Get lost. Okay, we're leaving. Yeah, I don't know why we bothered coming here. At least he somewhat has his priorities straight. Fine. Let's go, Iris. Yeah. Yeah. That's about what I expected to happen. Hmm. 
Where are we going next? Marble, Golden Yokocho. Wasn't that where we were attacked by Nice? It'll be fine. I didn't tell anyone we were going there. They won't be waiting for us. Besides, they wouldn't ambush us in the same place twice. That would be dumb. But why Marble? No reason. I just need to talk to Mama. Hmm? Hopefully. Sorry I couldn't come last night. No, no. Don't worry about it. It was better that you didn't. Huh? You didn't hear? There was a shootout right in front of the bar. They closed all of Golden Yokocho down. They were saying something about hitmen suddenly pulling out guns and shooting. They were trying to kill a man and a woman. Um... Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you long enough. Sorry for the late introduction. This is Iris. Nice to meet you. I'm Aset. You bet. Oh, sorry. Have it. I'm Aunt Iris. Oh my, you are so cute. Are you a virgin? You are, right? Well, yeah. What a coincidence. Me too. <sighs> I, that's, oh boy. I think they must be foreign mafia. Some kind of international organization. They would do anything for money. Nice must have hired them. <sighs> Sorry, honey, but I don't know a thing about that. You're an informant. I'm sure you must know something. I'm well versed in local information. I know all about Tokyo's underworld, but I can't say much about the rest of the world. That's fair. I'm good. Uh... Mama, I want to ask you something. What is it? Those gunmen were waiting for us. Did you tell anyone we were coming? That's right. You did tell Mama that you were coming. Right. And that you were bringing Iris. Hmm. Well, I did tell one person. Oh boy. Who? The person I was going to have you meet, of course. Same guy who gave Ren his watch. What's his name? Oh boy. So is the watch potentially a symbol of some kind? Like a... You own one of these, that means you're one of us. Futa, I think. Oh boy. Futa Amanoma. <sighs> <sighs> Where have we heard that name before? Because that's a sound effect that plays whenever we encounter something that's either super important and or directly connected to missing memories that Date has. So, we either knew this person before we lost our memories or are we that person? Or do we, are we potentially connected to this? What? That's Peter. Oh. I'm completely off the mark. I forgot about that. That's That's interesting. Well, he and again kind of proving my point that maybe Iba isn't something we can fully trust in this regard. Not saying that she's intentionally evil, but she is a robot AI that is connected to the thing that the bad guys are connected to. 
This is the idea that she might not be wholly innocent or wholly objective in regards to this is definitely something worth questioning. Onwards. But what did Peter do and what did he know? There's no one here. Oh boy. Maybe he went home. No, that can't be. Pewter is definitely around here somewhere. Date, your intuition is correct. I am detecting a living organism nearby. I knew it. Well, the obvious answer would be in the lockers. Yeah, called it. Hi, Mr. Pokemon Trainer. There's that bastard. Your Bulbasaur can't save you from my gun. Wait a minute. Uh, okay, I'll tell you everything. You told those men that Iris and I were going to Golden Yokocho, didn't you? Yes, I did. Renju hired them. Renju did? Which means Mr. Okiura is in with Nice. Nice. Don't Which play we... dumb. I know you're with them. Which we already suspected. Okay, so is Iris's belief about to fall apart or get reinforced? Oh boy. I don't know what you're talking about. I was just helping Renju. Did you help number 89 get away? How much does she know? Just answer the question. Yes, I did. It's been bothering me. How was number 89 able to escape from Metro so easily? And you were the one being held hostage. If you were helping him the whole time, it all makes sense. <sighs> tisk tisk. I'm sorry you had to see this. It's fine. Don't worry, I won't kill him. Then can I leave? No. Sure. If you don't mind me breaking every one of your fingers, <laughs> then I'd rather not. Uh, go, Date. I don't know. It's true. Please, believe me. Renju said that he needed him. That's all I know. Needed him for what? Is it true that you were the one who gave Renju his watch? Yes, that's true. Maybe Shoko wasn't the only one having extramarital relations. Two days ago, Potentially. Renju escaped from the hospital. Renju mm -hmm. asked me on the phone to report everything about Shoko's murder case. That's what he wanted. Yesterday, the boss told me that number 89 was coming. Then, Renju asked, Is there any way we can let number 89 escape? I was conflicted. I thought hard about it, but it was Renju asking. Someone I love. Okay, confirmed. It sounded like he was on death's doorstep. He was begging for help. I couldn't say no. With my intelligence, I was quickly able to come up with a plan. You know what the results were. 
Yeah, probably gonna get you fired, by the way. Like, I... I mean, it's one thing to accidentally be involved in a prisoner's escape, but purposely letting a very, very dangerous individual escape from police custody, I would be shocked if he doesn't get in a massive heap of trouble for this. The escape happened exactly how I described earlier. But good news is that if he's a semi... You know, if, if he's not directly involved, the, the chances of Iva being evil goes down a little bit. Perhaps we use this to help him convince us to unevil, unlike brainwash Iba later. If, in theory, something were to happen, maybe he'll be the top, the thoth in our story, the god of the moon who casts his spell to bring the missing, wandering left eye back or something. Distinct possibility. But we'll see. Though, I wasn't being threatened with a gun. You were acting, huh? Just pretending to be his hostage. Yes. Did number 89 know about the plan? Of course. We discussed it when we were alone in the interrogation room. Naturally, he agreed. I imagine he would have taken any possibility of escape. Even if we failed, he was already serving a life sentence. I may not look it. But I have connections high up at HQ. Friends, from my college days. I asked mm. one of them to call up the boss. So where is he? I see. So where is Renju? Even if I knew, why would I tell you? Because you don't want more holes in your body than you already have. You can't. Why not? Date, I didn't tell you all this because you were threatening me. I genuinely wanted you to know, to understand the truth, Date. What are you talking about? There's a variable you haven't considered. I made Iva. And? Oh no. No, I called it. Oh, I called it. No. Iva. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no! <sighs> well... Yeah... That's... Yeah... This is... Oh boy! <laughs> you don't get it? Dante! His hands! Damn it, Pewter! Date, calm down or it will compromise your ability to drive. If you crash, you will not be able to save Iris. Where is she? I don't know. So then where the hell am I going? How would I know that? You acted on your own. What about her phone's GPS? I tried. It's been turned off. Jacket. GPS. MOBA. Whole point of doing that. Then. Yeah. Come on. It's just an extra precaution. Yeah. Put it somewhere they won't find it. Iba, call moment now. On it. <laughs> We screwed up. That's what happened. G G GPS. Tessa. Now. I wouldn't bother with an explanation. I would just be like, you know, remember the GPS you gave Virus? Activate it or do whatever you- tell me where it is. Tessa. Tessa got kidnapped! Dante, you bastard! 
I know, I know. Yell at me later. Right now, I need you to tell me where she is. God damn it! Oh no. That's where I saw Iris's dead body. Hey, are you listening, asshole? I've got it, thanks. I'm on my way there too. Hey, a little extra firepower could be useful. Yeah, if he's gonna wave a gun around, he might as well put it to some good use. Especially since we could be compromised. I really think that if we're gonna go fight Pewter, I, I really think he should be leaving Iva out of it. Like, leave her in the car or something. Because if he can flip a switch and, de and incapacitate us, or say, make her go boom, I really don't think she should be in his face right now. But we'll see if he does the smart thing. There's the gunman. So. Oh boy. Here we are again. Okay. And I will be right back. I have to step away for a quick moment. I've made my glorious return, and I'm fully prepared to rescue Iris. I hope. I hope we save her. I hope she doesn't get stabbed 27 times. I would be sad. Uh, but... Yeah, I, I just took a quick bathroom break. I don't like that he brought Iba. Those are the guys who attacked us at Golden Yoga Show. The mercenaries. How many? I detect more than we can see. I'm I'm really, really uneasy about the fact that we brought Iba. I mean I get night vision is useful, but it's I think she proved herself to be a massive 
liability just now, so I'm nervous about that. Positioned all over the area surrounding the warehouse. Yeah. Barricades set up in two areas in front of the warehouse. Uh -huh. they can that makes be moved sense. And easily. Mm -hmm. So I would suspect each of them carries an assault rifle. Yeah. Getting that's through will not be an easy task. Nope. Looks that way. This is where the fun begins. Yeah. If only we had a cardboard box. <laughs> uh okay. Something flashed. I, I think I saw something over here just now, but I could be losing my mind. It, yeah. Got you. Aha. Iris located. That's it's Iris. Huh. That's an interesting bit of foreshadowing. The the fact that technically the first time we saw Iris was hidden in a box in statue form. You know, looking at her much like this. Hopefully this is not the last time we see her. Is she okay? Unknown, but at least we know she's alive. Hey, small victories. The issue now is reaching her. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's do this! Hold on, are you dense? Just be careful where you aim that thing, okay? They're gonna blow your brains out. They got guns? Yeah, and not just one or two. They all have assault rifles, and they're everywhere. You can tell? Even in the dark? Magical third eye! That's full of wisdom! <laughs> At least they're, they're consistent with their imagery. I'll give them that. Have you forgotten that I found out what was inside your safe? I have superpowers. I can see in the dark, and I have x-ray vision. Oh, shit, you were serious? I have a robot in my face. <laughs> so we're gonna have to be very, very sneaky about this. We need a plan. Can you help me? Yeah, sure I can. I need to ask you a few things first. Ask away. Uh, let's go in order. Jackoff who took Tessa. Pewter, right? What's his deal? 
I think Renju asked him to do all of this. Renju? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Renju was looking for Tessa. Not only that, in a parallel world, I found Iris's body at an Okiura fishery warehouse. So... I've got a bad feeling about this. You and me both, buddy. I... I mean... I think as soon as we get to, like, the warehouse itself or get to the van that Tessa is in, I think we need to pull Iba out of our face. Because I'm really worried that Pewter's gonna do something and either make Iba explode or betray us or something. Because he built her. Therefore, he probably has all kinds of safeguards and fail-safes and programming quirks and the ability to control her. I, I don't trust it. Granted, I'm not a huge sci-fi fan, but I know enough about how these kinds of stories can go. So these bad guys, why did they take Tessa? <laughs> the van's at the end of the row. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse is right there. We must be planning on taking her inside. Right now, they're probably getting it ready. They've got lookouts waiting outside. <laughs> question is, what are they getting ready? Tessa's in the van down there, right? Yes. So, this plan could be as simple as get to the van, get, get in the driver's seat, hold the keys are inside, and drive away as fast as we can. Yeah. In that case, why don't we go around the back? Unfortunately, that is impossible. The warehouses are flush with the water. The only path to the van is down the front. Shit. Guess it won't be that easy. I bet you have, like, a boat. I don't suppose you have a boat? Probably don't have time to go get said boat even if you did have one. Mama has a hunting rifle. Mama, that's not a toy, is it? No fucking way! This is the real deal, baby! Hunting rifles are very good at very long range- at pretty decent ranges. I mean... It w it's not a full-on sniper, but it might give us- But we might be able to pick them off easier with that than they would be with us. With their assault rifles. I mean, granted, I'm not a gun expert, so I don't know full specs on either of those things. And also sci-fi tech. I mean, at least, I know I at least have a special sci-fi gun, so... I mean, I don't know. I mean, it looks pretty normal to me. But again, I know nothing about guns. <laughs> it's outside of my purview. And do you have a permit for that? I am a cop, you know. Oh, come on! Don't throw the book at me now, Dante! That's a hunting rifle. Yeah. That appears to be a military-grade all-terrain vehicle. Moma, that vehicle. Probably pretty bullet-resistant. And would probably make a decent makeshift perch. That's one of ours. I got it from the army. It's bulletproof. Even the windows. I Ooh. thought you were trying to run a non-violent gang. Yeah. That's gonna come very much in handy. Wait. It's more or less bulletproof. Get it in charge? Just like, wee. I mean, the barricades could be annoying. But... If we could use it as kind of like a base to kind of pick off the armed people. But that, that, that amount of noise and shootout could alert whoever is in the warehouse. Which increases the chance of Tessa getting hurt. Which is not ideal. Well, that's exactly why. We got rid of our offense, so we needed a little defense. I suppose that makes sense, in a way. Yakuza's got a Yakuza. It's completely bulletproof. Let's see what the plan so, is. What's the plan? Um, great question. Uh, well, 
What was coming up with the plan? Car merchant practice. Oh no. Please. Oh no. Oh no. Please, please don't be. Please don't be. Oh no. Oh no. Don't be Oted Mizuki. Please don't be Oted Mizuki. Please. Oh no. I knew it. Mizuki. Ota. What no. Are you doing here? What do you mean? You contacted us. No, I didn't. What? I sent an aisle message to both of them. Why? Why? She's 12. Date. If something happens to Tessa, let me know, okay? Oh. oh. He's a civilian. She's 12. This is they're going to get killed. No, 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 no. I mean, contact like boss. That I could justify. But like these two, what are they going to do? I at best Oda could be like a getaway driver. But I no. Is this how we find out the music is a robot? Because she gets shot and then keeps going and then, whoops, she's able to throw fully grown men into the ocean? Uh, is she gonna go Terminator on us? Because that's the only way she could be helpful right now. This is such a bad idea. No! I'll save you no matter what, Iris! Promise me. I promise. No. A promise is an inviolable protocol. It must be followed. She's 12. They have guns. I think we could make an exception here. Do you know what a white lie is? No, I am an AI. It's bad enough your liability, Aiba. We do not need sass about this. This is such a Bad decision on your part. What are you doing? You always pull out that excuse when it's convenient. Besides, Mizuki can be very helpful. She's 12. She is a child. She is in sixth grade. What is she gonna do? The best she could potentially offer is maybe help keep iris calm but i think that's more but i think she'll be better at it if she's not full of bullet holes uh, towers is genuinely upset about this this is not me like trying to ooh streamer has to have a reaction no i'm just like this is stupid this is very stupid i don't understand this decision at all and ota perhaps he can be used as a shield Again, that was not the time for sass. You're gonna get civilians killed. What are you doing, you robot? You're not helping your cause of- Oh, I'm not secretly evil. I mean, I hope she's not. But, kinda hard to convince me when you pull stuff like this. And that's cruel, even for me. Uh, Date? Who are the kids? Thank you, Moma. Don't call me a kid. You're 12! Who's the old man? <sighs> so your sixth grade roommate and a knee who's trying to get his light novel published? Thank you, Oda! Or, thank you, Moma, for being the voice of reason. Thank you. Yes. What are they? Thank you. You don't look very useful yourself, old man. At least he has experience in gunfights and brought his own gun. Okay, there's it's it's something. It's miles better than what you're able to provide here, Musiki. Go home. Yeah, you're all short and scrawny. Uh, again, gun. Shut up! I'm not short. The Earth. Is just big. That argument is fallacious. Hmm. And you're short too. No way. This isn't even my final form. 
Oh, now is not the time for this. Now is not the time for ridiculous banter. All my joints are folded up. I can get three times bigger than this. Now is not the time for this. A liar. <sighs> Thank you, Date. Listen up, you idiots. You're here because you're all Aset fans. Um. Wet, sweat, Aset! I mean, if it works, go for it. Fears. Upset, regret, Aset! Gambling. R roulette, bed, Aset! <sighs> yes, yes. Great, I'm glad we all had the pep talk. Right. Pepe goes. Let's work together and get our tests up back. Yeah, great, I'm glad we're all on the same page, but I'm still questioning what the 12 year old could possibly do here. <sighs> yes, I'm harping on this very heavily, but also, like, seriously? Yeah! yeah. This is our time to unite! Let's show them what we're made of! Yeah! Shoulder to shoulder, heart to heart, we stand! Show no mercy, for you shall receive none! <sighs> what is this game up to? Yeah! Uh, somebody's gonna get hurt. Has extraordinary power. Somebody's going to get hurt or killed. Uh, okay. Good. It's working. Uh. Here's the plan. Ota, can you drive that vehicle? It's bulletproof, so don't worry. They can't shoot you. Yes, sir! Moma, I need your trigger finger. Get on the yeah. back with me and shoot any gunman you can see. I, I'm getting that distinct impression, but... I don't know. I, I'm getting the distinct impression that the, the tone from the first fight is going to be the expected tone for the rest of the fights. You got it! And Mizuki, you're our secret weapon. If it all goes south, we're gonna need your powers. Leave it to me. Hey, Dante! What are you gonna have her do? Yes, please she explain. Might not look it. She's something else. Is this related to her ability to pinch to bench press 220 pounds? They won't take her down without a fight. You sure about this? And there is also the distinct possibility that Date taught her some self-defense. You know, being a cop and all. So I guess this is what we're doing. Yup. You should worry more about yourself, Moma. So, now you know your jobs. This is how we get through. I'm willing to forgive this if we see her, like, one punch... Like, punch somebody in the face and see her, like, drop a fully guard man. I would be willing to forgive this if we see that. Do I suspect we're gonna see that? I, I have no idea at this point. I have no idea where they're going with this. But, yeah. We'll see. I'm sure I don't need to tell you, but our objective is to reach the end of the harbor. We need to rescue Iris from that van and then get the hell out of here. Any questions? All right, let's do this. Yeah, let's lock and load. We're coming for you, Tessa. On three. One, two, three, go! go! Boy, are we really glad that none of them hear any of this. <sighs> Onwards. Yes, this is the plan. Hey, look! Is that a tank? All right, let's do this. Kill him! Damn, there's 
Too many of them. I don't think my rifle can handle this many. I have to think of something. Sit here and wait for them to run out of ammo? Red barrel goes boom? This is a video game. Red barrel goes boom? What's in the barrel? It isn't explosive. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing this. Dante, I have a plan. Is it a good plan? It's better than your plan. You still have that pornographic magazine, right? Why? Don't act innocent. Hmm. Last night you went back to Golden Yokocho. You found one of those magazines and hid it in your clothes. How did you know? She's in your oh, face. No, I, Date. Of course I would know. This, this is what we're doing. In any case, throw it at the drum. No. Why not? This is a collector's item. It's SSR. I can't just throw it away. So what is more important to you, Iris or Eros? Arrow. Hmm? <sighs> Iris. Good. Hurry, they're closing in. Oh, uh, uh, wait, can't, can't we... <sighs> Let's just hope the music he doesn't ask what this is. Take this! What? Could it be? The legendary? Oh, this is amazing! No one back <sighs> home will believe me! Seriously? I, I hope none of them ask. Red barrel goes boom. <laughs> Yikes, that was a close one. I would feel safer if Mizuki was, like, inside the car. Okay. There's still more of them! And no more oil drums to blow up! I'm at my limit here! Wait! Aiba, any ideas? You don't act innocent. I'm talking about the panties and bra you shot down in Golden Yokocho. I needed it as evidence. Enough with your pathetic excuses. Just aim under the container. No. Damn it, Date. I was gonna give this to Reka as a gift. That's creepy. Someone else's underwear? That's creepy. Wine and underwear are best when aged. Creepy. That's a famous saying in France. That is not true. 
Dante, what are you doing? Iris is in trouble. <sighs> Dante! Okay, okay. I just gotta throw it, right? Again, is that neither of them going to question why you just have this on you? <laughs> Goodbye! What the hell? Yeah. This must be a gift from heaven! So wet, as wet as it gets! So dirty! Shameless! Absolutely shameless! <sighs> Good. That went well. This section is testing my ability to have respect for this character. Now, if we can cause that container above them to fall... I see it. I can shoot the cable. Yeah. The shot? Yeah. yeah. That's about what I'm feeling right now. Into the drink. Let's go. Roger. The last one. What is that? Wait! Mizuki! Oh, that idiot! Is this the part where we get to see her drop a fully grown adult man? No, we're gonna help. Good. Dante, Mizuki can't do this alone! Yeah, no kidding! Oh, good. Oh. There. Everyone's dead. Thank you. My goddess, your chariot has arrived. Dante! Dork. Oh, 
Hoza, mission complete. All right, got it. Yeah, we win. I didn't mean to do that. I accidentally nudged the skip button. Oh well. I hope none of that was super important. Date, Mama and Mizuki contacted us. They're all safe. That's good. Good. Hmm. How you feeling? Yeah, I'm a lot better actually. Um, sorry by the way for everything. Shush, you have nothing to apologize for. You're good. Oh, and thank you. I never thanked you for saving me. You should be thanking those three. Some bodyguard I am. I put you in danger. That's not true. If it wasn't for you, I would have... Anyway, there's nothing else to say but thank you. Aww. Do you think the Fruit of Immortality really exists? Legend about the Shrine? Yeah. I told you yesterday, I don't believe in that stuff. I see. But you do believe in parallel worlds and secret societies. It's a sci-fi story? Because I experienced that in Iris' son. This could be a negative side effect of the sink. It is possible that you've been emotionally compromised by Iris' morbid inner consciousness. Whoa. Well, there is no point in discussing this now. Yeah, it's, it's called getting attached. Nothing in particular. I didn't talk to him at all in the car. That's what probably the for the best. Answers? They were all speaking different languages, so I didn't understand anything. Yeah. Looking at the iris again? Oh, yeah. I can't see it well in the rain. You must really like that flower. Of course, we share the same name. Iris, the rainbow goddess. Yeah, that's what uncle taught me. The uncle again. Perhaps it is not the flower itself that Iris likes. I used to love uncle. Not like romantically. I was 12 at the time, and Uncle was already in a relationship. You mean with your mom? Oh, you knew about that? I've heard a lot. Like the Okonomiyaki incident? Yeah, the picture I drew. Right. We were always like that. We always acted silly and played around and stuff. I remember that in sixth grade, Uncle and I used to play hand games. Like bratty cakes. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It's like patty cakes mixed with rock, paper, scissors. Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Oh boy. Oh boy. Put it in the oven. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I win, I win. Yay! Oh boy. I don't know. I only called him uncle. 
Mama called him Falco. Falco? <laughs> Isn't it a funny name? Oh. Sort of weird for a Japanese man. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is much worse. Oh, this is much worse. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, maybe he wasn't Japanese. I never found out where he was from. Oh. Before he met me, he committed some Oh, no. <laughs> this is much worse. <laughs> <laughs> it appears that Hitomi and the assassin number 89 were dating. What? If that's what he was planning on doing, if, if he pulled all of this, the, the whole Renju thing, and pulled whatever strings he pulled to get Renju to help him, just so he could see Iris again, I feel like there's easier ways. I mean, unless he's not connected to the murder at all, but this still seems like a lot of effort, like the whole kidnapping and stuff. I mean, I guess one could argue that maybe it's about limiting how much trouble she gets in later, but this still seems excessive, unless there's, again, something else going on. Like, couldn't he have just, like, pretended to break into their house if he wanted to see them again? Like, I feel like that would be easier. And less likely to leave, like, a huge paper trail. But... Why does Renju care? What? 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 What connection does Renju have with that, if that's what... 89 is working on. Now you have to take the penalty. And up, why? Up, side to side, up, down, pinch. <laughs> and if that's true, why are we seeing memories from his perspective? And number 89 is with Renju now. Are we the robot? Are, are we? Are we secretly like a robot? Or, or something and like we have some kind of tie to Falco? And that's... Because it's weird that we're seeing flashbacks from Falco's perspective. Like that's strange. Like that's really weird. So what is our connection to him? And... Because clearly we do. What hmm. the hell is going on here? Yeah, that's pretty much what I've been trying to figure out. visitor was if you went on a date with me. Oh, yeah. Right. And we went on a date, so... Yeah. So I'll tell you now. Sunday at 2 a.m., I was visited by... Uncle? Renji Okiura. Oh, what? no. Yeah, again, if, if Renji was helping 89 have a re little harmless reunion... Why didn't he do it then? So he must have some other plan. What is it that Renju wants is pretty much going to be the big question for now. He seemed really sick. Probably because of his injury. Yeah. At the time I had no idea what had happened to him. He was sweating buckets and he came up to me with this begging look in his eyes. He said, come with me. He seemed really desperate. I couldn't say no. So I got into his rental car. 
Oh boy. We went somewhere, I don't know where, some deserted building. Mr. Okira got out of the car, then grabbed my hand. He tried to pull me inside. I got scared. I pulled my hand away and ran. You just Mr. tell me. Has done so much for me. He took care of me as a kid. He helped me at Lemniscate. I wanted to trust him. No matter what happens, I can't think of him as a bad person. Yeah, I... We're I mean, probably gonna put that to the test. To me. Yeah, well, it sounds like he almost did, so... He came to my house at 2 in the morning and tried to take me to an abandoned building, but... You never know. Maybe he wanted to show me some flowers, or something that he found. Yeah. Hmm. Or it was like a prank he was filming for the internet, or something. And that's what I thought at the time. That's what I kept telling myself. But after hearing everything you've told me, I can't see Mr. Okira the same way. Maybe he's a part of Nice. Maybe he's trying to... Well, I didn't go home. Obviously. I thought he might come back. I just Smart. walked around and went into a bunch of stores. Restaurants, coffee shops, net cafes. I was afraid that he would try to call me, so I turned off my phone, too. And then, at night, around 7, I think, I turned on my phone and got a Nile message from Mizuki. I want to stay at your place. I met up with her and took her home. I thought having her around would comfort me. I don't know. Hey, worst, worst things you could do is not be alone and being with a friend. Iris, I need you to tell me one thing. Where did Renju take you? Where did he take you exactly? It's been closed for eight years. The chemical plant in the Kawasaki district. Yeah. I don't think they made chemicals at that plant. I think they made something else. And something went wrong. That's why they closed the entire district. So that they could come and go and do whatever it is they want to do in not complete peace, obviously, but in a lot more peace and quiet and secrecy than in a fully operating district. That's probably where the second sink machine is. And that's where we're, gonna, where we're gonna go. Yeah. And in fact. Yeah. Yeah. Is this the place? Yes. Where did Renju try to take you? That door in the back. Okay. Called it! Okay, so why was he trying- So, who is trying to sneak with Iris and why? I think this it's the is question now. A sink machine. Though it appears to be slightly different than the one in Abyss. Because it's a prototype. Could this be the prototype Pewter was talking about? Yeah. The Chiba Police Department was working on a prototype, but it was stolen six years ago. What is it doing here? Hey, Iris, are you okay? Iris, stay with me! Date, Iris's vital signs are going critical. 
What is she reacting to is my question. Because my first thought is probably nanomachines? Like little clouds of nanomachines, maybe? Some negative reaction? Because if she isn't, you know, if there's something else going on with Iris, like she isn't real or something, like if she's like a robot, perhaps, maybe. Or maybe she's been here before and she's having flashbacks and that's causing her to react. Because it's clear that there's something in this district, either in the air or something, that she is reacting to negatively. Because this is not the first time she's gotten sick here. It wasn't as bad, but we were also p probably much farther away. And now that we're at the theoretical epicenter of whatever went down, it's clear that she's having some kind of reaction to it. Either something lingering in the area, or... I don't know. But I don't think it's chemicals. Because if it was just chemicals, then our guy would also be reacting. So it's something that's specific to either her system or some something. What? Why? Unknown. But I believe the issue is with her brain. Her brain? Her brain. Hmm. Could her brain not be her own? Part of her brain is experiencing massive failure. If this continues... Let's get her to a hospital. Impossible. You do not have enough time. Yeah, because we're in an abandoned district. So I would suspect that the nearest hospital is significantly farther away, at least the nearest functioning hospital. I estimate that Iris' brain can last only 10 to 15 more minutes before the damage is irreparable. How do you know that? I have scanned and analyzed her thoroughly. Her symptoms indicate that she will die within minutes. What? Sink. What? I'll use the sink machine here to go inside her brain. That will not cure her condition. I'm not trying to cure her. Two days ago, I saw her dead body. After that, we went into Sosajima's brain. And in his somnium, I saved Iris. And somehow, I saved Iris in the real world, too. Maybe we're in a parallel world or something. If I do the same thing again... You think you can save her? Yes. It's not like we have other options. Please, help me. Is that an order? Does it have to be? Yes. <laughs> then I suppose I have no choice. My mission is to support you. Alright. We don't have a lot of time. Let's get moving. Date, this device is a prototype. It is not identical to the one at Abyss. Yeah, I'm sure. You said that already, so what? I do not know how to reset it. There must be a manual of some kind. We need to find that before we begin. Uh. Uh, manual. Where would you keep? Sorry, I see you. Date, is that that thing on the shelf? 
Yeah, I, I saw it for like a brief second. Okay, I have to get to just like the right pixel. I don't believe it. We do not have time to waste. Let's go. shall save you, Iris. Or save an Iris in some multiverse. Or hop to a parallel universe where Iris doesn't have this condition, whatever it is. Or perhaps one where we didn't take her here. Shovel Forge again? Yay! This looks kind of like the other time I synced with Iris, but there's a different atmosphere now. Yeah, I would imagine so. Hmm. By the way, what happened to your usual appearance? I decided to hold back this time. This is no time to be playing around. Putting that aside, you want to help Iris, correct? Then we need to hurry. Yes. So what do we need to do? Care to ask the owner of this world? Save the princess! She's lost consciousness, even in her own Somnium. That proves how critical her condition is. Well, if she's that deep under, then at least she's not in pain. It, it may seem, which may seem like a minor comfort, all things considered, but it's something. <laughs> ah, of course. What was that? I do not know, but it appears as though we have no choice but to believe those words. Right, of course. I appreciate them incorporating. Like, if you're going to sit there and tell me old legends and myths, I appreciate incorporating that into your story. Like, it's fun if you want to just go off about things, but if you're going to bring stuff like that into it, then use it. So, I'm glad that we're incorporating that story into this in some capacity. The fruit of immortality, huh? But I don't see any fruit. Are we gonna go punch trees now? I think it's time to go punch some trees. We need to do something about this beam of light first. I've seen that monument before. But back then... Somnium scan! Activate! Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. Save Iris. To save her, you'll need to give her the fruit of immortality. As long as we don't have to kiss her, we're good. Okay. Uh, hang on. Iris. Okay. So take. So I'm assuming we take that and we bring it here. So there. Yeah. An Grab. egg shaped monument. Yes. It looks more like a sugar cube to me.
can't do that without a pickaxe. Why not chop it with your hands? Impossible. It's a video game. Uh, okay. Can we... Can An egg-shaped... Looks more like a sugar cube. Yeah, it's great. Um... Yes. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I see. Putting this here cuts off the light. Yeah. I think I've seen this in a movie. Don't you mean you've seen this in Iris's Somnium? Just put it down. Hopefully, we've not summoned a boulder. Huh? Didn't expect that. No, this is. I see. We have to make a star. Did you figure something out? Yeah. This might turn into a pentagram. Oh, I get it. That means... Yes. That leaves this remaining. So... Okay. Yeah. So we need a reflective surface of some kind. I don't think we can interact with that. Let's go check that out. Does that look reflective? I am assuming this gate leads to the Hall of Worship. Yeah, right. that's what I thought too. Rather ornate. Yeah, the contractor must have had a hell of a time. It is an opening. You're right. Guess we can't just open it. Hmm. A gate that leads to the Hall of Work. The inside looks suspicious. Why don't you make a hole by drilling the pickaxe in? I don't really want to, but I will try. Huh? <laughs> No good. Why no. did I listen to your stupid idea? Oh, it was worth a try. Okay, so... Okay. This iris during the previous sink. Hold on a sec. Huh. Okay, so is this anything? A Chozuya. Let me see. Hmm, there's something here. Please be a mirror. Please be a mirror. Okay, that works. That works. A okay. monument. If you place it against the light, it will complete the pentagram. Do it. What? Oh, not again. They have appeared before. It may symbolize Iris's insecurities. Whoa! We have to deal with them before we find the fruit of immortality. What do you want me to do? They don't want us to complete the pentagram. Is that why they attacked the Chosuya and Irises? 
But this pedestal has not been attacked. They cannot attack it for some reason. Dance? I think so. Dance time? What other explanation could there be? As long as there is even a slight possibility, we must try. Right. Yes. Thinking about what worked previously, we need to make a pentagram. But the attack has scrambled everything. We do not have time for trial and error. Think carefully. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Do something. Yeah. Yep. Oh boy. Okay. I need C map. Okay. So. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This one. Okay. okay. Right. Nor that. Start with obvious. Take. An egg shaped monkey. trying to lighten the mood. I appreciate the thought, but... Oh. Okay. Aw. I have a tries. Okay. Okay. So that means fate. Okay. So this has to go. Pedestal. Understood. Okay. 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 The light. Instagram is complete. That's... What? Why isn't it working? The 
pentagram is complete. That was a terrible Placement one. The of the monuments must be incorrect. The lines of the pentagram must form the golden ratio. Right. You cannot call it a true pentagram if the shape is broken. Right. At the very least, the placement needs to be symmetrical. Got it. I'll try again. Okay. Well, I wasn't expecting it to go right then, so... Okay. That one's definitely correct as far as I can tell. So... Okay. Zooming out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's try this again. So where's the... Cube over there. Cube over there. So... so cool. Really wish I had better control over this. Okay. Okay. Into danger. Take. Understood. Where would you like me to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, here, here. here. You. A pedestal. No, wrong button. I mean, it's what I want to do, but I could have saved some time, and I really wish I had. But, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. 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 That's good. Check this side. So I need to grab the blue one. Blue, blue, blue. There'd you go. Right here? Where I put it? Yeah. Come here. Come here, you. A pedestal with a... Give. Understood. <sighs> Where would you like okay. me to place it? Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, what? Here. Here, here, here. You. A pedestal with nothing. Understood. Okay, so this that's good. That's good. That's good. Get the yellow one. Da, 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 da. We got this, we got this, we got this. Ah. An egg shake. Time is stressing me out. <laughs> Where would you like me to place it? Uh-huh. Uh, no, that is the wrong direction. I need to be going this way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Upsy daisy. Please work, please work, please work, please work. Come on. Come on. Come on. The light. Yep. Please. <laughs> Okay. The pentagram's complete. Oh, well done, us. What? We still got kablooied. Uh, the world is. It's breaking down. <laughs> the timer makes these extra stressful. <laughs> I mean, they're fun, but. Timer makes me stressed out. Uh, come on. Come on. Okay. Okay. We have uncubified the world. I hope that's a good thing. The 
the Shovel Forge world disappeared. I am back to my usual appearance. What about Iris? It appears that she is un Yeah. Probably should. I probably should be looking for the hidden things, but the, with, but between the timer and everything else, it's just like ah, it's it's hard to look for collectibles on timers. That's prob. So yeah. So I hope those aren't like too important. Like I hope it isn't like a oh you to get the ending where everyone goes home happily. You need to find all the eyeballs and the somniums or something, because I would be devastated. So, but as, as long as we can still get a happy ending without them, I'm content. <laughs> Iba, the door to the shrine opened. Oh, good. Right. Is that the fruit of immortality? It Shove it down the throat. The seed of a citrus fruit of some kind. That's fair. But we need the actual fruit. That voice said something about the fruit of immortality. I wasn't expecting it to be literal. Perfect. Good. It is. It, as long as I can get a, a decent, a, a good ending, for, for, that's all that matters. Everything else is just for funsies. And, and yeah. Let's Some continue. Believe that the fruit of immortality is a Tachibana orange. The Tachibana orange comes from a variety of evergreen trees. So we are looking for some kind of fruit. Fruits have edible flesh surrounding the seeds. Right, but if we only have the seed... This is a dream world. If we plant it now, it may grow quickly. Aiba, you ready to slash and burn? I see. If we plant it there... It sprouted. This must be a positive sign. With the ashes as compost, then all we need is... Water. Okay. <sighs> Please let that be the most stressful part. Please let this be easier from here on out. Okay. Ashes. Water. It's a Chozuya. Why is it not broken? The Chozuya was destroyed in the Shovel Forge world. Right. The place where the irises were blooming has turned to ash. Another bug? That is a possibility. But why? Unknown. Why did that not... <sighs> it's a Chozuya. You do know this is not the Shovel Forge world, correct? But there's a pickaxe on the ground there. Pickaxe? You're right. But why? The pickaxe even looks strange. Interesting color combo. Maybe Iris left it behind because she wanted you to use it. Perhaps. I'll use it. Come on. I mean, you know. Whoa! I just wanted to water some plants. It's hey, raining. That works too. Great. <sighs> okay. So this is the fruit of immortality. We need to hand this over to Iris. Yeah. Right. Hurry. Wait for me, Iris. I'm coming. Okay. 
Yeah. We got this. We got this. Everything is going to be fine. Iris! We shall save you. Iris is unconscious. <sighs> we did it! Tell me we did it, please. It was stressful. <laughs> Oot. I'm proud of us. <laughs> oh, that pedicure puzzle was stressful, though. I mean, it's fun, but that was stressful. <laughs> Please be okay. Please be okay. I will cry. Come on. Come on. Oh no. Oh good. You're awake. Um. Oh boy. That's the same eye. That's the same eye. Uh, oh boy. Whoa! Uh... Yeah! Thank you for everything you've done for me. Huh? What are you talking about? I if she dies... I'm gonna die. Aren't I? If she dies now, I'm gonna be pissed. No. Don't talk crazy. I synced with you to save you. This has to be the timeline where you live. I don't want to die yet. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I, I met you. I wanted to spend more time with you. I wanted to go places. I'll take you. I'll take you wherever you want. I'll take you to Idrup, Kunishir. Shikaton, Habamai, anywhere you want, Iris. Really? Yes. I I'm gonna be okay. Of course. You won't die, I promise. Okay. I'm glad. I'm not gonna die. I can be with you forever. Of course you can. You're gonna live, Iris, forever and ever. You'll become a grown woman. Get married, have kids. I'll even babysit them for you. Tati, thank you. These past few days have been so much fun. Mm. Please, Mr. Tati, you can't leave me! You're 
Your back is so warm, Mr. Date. It feels like I've met you before. Then go on a date with me. And the Greek goddess of rainbows. You're the only person I can trust. Dante! Put it in the oven. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Dante, can you tell me... One last thing. I've been looking. Are you No, no, Iris. You can't die. Please, Iris. Iris. <gasps> Mickey? <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm going. <laughs> Shit. No. 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 Uh, yes, I want to save. Uh, apologies. For whatever reason, the screen doesn't... I'm, I'm currently in the saving screen. I don't know why it does that. Oh, no. Are we good? Okay. The flow charts. I. Uh, okay. Okay. The no, I refuse to be okay with this ending. It, it, no, no, no. The story does not end with Iris freaking dying. That's not okay. Oh, that is not okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So... Yeah. So obviously... This is this. So... Hmm... Well, I'm thinking about going back to Mizuki's sink. Because I assume the choice that branches here is the cage's choice, yes? So... Go here, and we choose the other cage, I would imagine. Yeah. Uh, 
That's what I was thinking. Cause that's his. Yeah. I know I said at the beginning we were only gonna get one ending, but I I meant that in unless we had something horrifically bad. Yeah. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, blah 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 blah. Let's get to the pages. No thank you. Don't need. Okay. So I'm just gonna the go. Pull out, body blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Let me go into the control room. And we control. picked the balloon cage last time. So what is your Okay. So let's go in here. A bird cage. There are ripped pieces of paper inside. Yeah. Okay. Uh, make time. Fifth, the bird cage. All right. Leave it to me. <sighs> it is heavier than it looks. If I go through all of this, it'd still get like. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if we'll be doing that, but we'll see. I mean, probably, if, ho hopefully that, the Iris dying ending is the worst one here. I, I hope there's not one where Mizuki dies horribly in our arms, because I, that, that's not okay. But, let's, let's see how, where this branch leads, and hopefully it's a better tomorrow. Uh <laughs> Yeah. Mhm. Mm <sighs> yeah. Nothing happened. All I did was move the cage. Torn there are paper. torn pieces of paper. Since I finally know how to Leave it to me. I enjoy puzzles like this. Yeah. <sighs> oh, what a happy family. But... The yeah. cage is gone. We can get to Mizuki now. Do you not see the horses spinning at hurricane speeds? You can do it if you try a little. No, you can't. All right, fine. We have to stop the spinning. Right. I might let some of. You've got five minutes. I might let let some of the dialogue play here and there as I try to think of what we're trying to do here. Right. Why? Maybe a 
just like the speaker before. I see. These were also linked. That's right. Mizuki! Let's go to her. Got it. Okay. Hug. It's Mizuki. Hug. Mizuki. Hugs, hugs are good for the soul. Okay. Date. Yay. Date. <laughs> Yay, it hugs. Like she can talk again. Hugs are always a win. Say, Mizuki, who was that figure I saw? What? Insomnia, in your dream. I saw a silhouette. I would suspect that's Renju. Date, Mizuki would not understand the question. She does not experience Somnium as you do. You are witnessing a dream inside her brain. Right. Never mind. Did you see anyone at the merry-go-round the night you found Shoko? I did. I saw someone... ...in the corner, past the merry-go-round. Who did you see? I don't know. It was dark and raining. They looked scary, so I hid inside the merry-go-round. The door was open a little bit, so I snuck in. Hey, can I... That? That was not necessary. I... I can't tell you. Why not? Because I don't want to. That's not a reason. You were at the scene of the crime because of that Nile message. 
Whoever sent it to you is a prime suspect. I don't think she is going to answer. That's the kind of girl she... Like? <laughs> Actually, never mind. Some things I'm better off not knowing. Yeah. By the way, we already looked into Mizuki's cell phone. Unfortunately, the contents were wiped. I'm tracing the sender of the Nile message through other means, but it's taking me some time. Liar. I told you I'm fine. So annoying. I annoyed you already, huh? The pressure is annoying. What pressure? Force over area measured in Pascal's dummy. I see she is back to her usual self. Delightful child. Within normal parameters. Delightful child. I think I liked her better when she was silent. We both know that's a lie. I'm fine now. But I didn't forget your promise. A promise? Stu. Stu? You said you'd take me. Yes, so I did. You heard that, huh? Aphonia only affects speech. Her hearing should still be intact. Sure, Mizuki. When we're all done here. Yeah. Yep. That's fine. Bus. Right, there was something. Yeah. Hey, Mizuki. When we found you, you were holding the ice pick, right? Can you tell us why? When I got there, the ice pick was... It yeah. was... It was stuck in my mom's eye. I couldn't think straight. I... The only thing I could think was... I had to get it out. So, you panicked and pulled it out. Yeah. And you held on to it when you hid in the column. Yeah. Hug. She needs more hugs. Okay, just one more question. This is very important. When you pulled out the ice pick, was Shoko's eye still there? I'm pretty sure it wasn't. The eye socket was empty. Yeah. Thank you, Mizuki. That was very helpful. Law shines in moments like this. She doesn't hesitate to ask anything. Now we know that Mizuki did not remove the victim's eye. When we got to the scene, it was definitely missing. Yeah. And it has not yet been recovered. Yeah. Definitely the culprit. Thoughts? How would I know? I don't know. We still don't have. No need to report. Yeah, I'm glad she's talking again. Mm -hmm. You healed the wounds in her heart by sinking with her. Well, you meaning you and Iba. The boss has extraordinary perception. I deserve much of the credit for helping Mizuki recover her voice. All you did was follow my instructions. Date, Mizuki needs you. Yes. Protect her. We should take her home. That gets to. Traitor. No, oh, that. I yes, saw that. It too. Who or what do you think it was? Hmm. Most likely someone Mizuki saw in person projected into her subconscious. Dreams can only be constructed from images and experiences the subject was present for. Mizuki saw me and couldn't have contained that figure if she didn't see it in person. Of course, not everything we see in our dreams looks exactly the same as it did in the real world. 
You saw some strange things in Somnium earlier, didn't you, Dante? That event you experienced. Blah blah. Peter, who do you think the culprit is? Well, let's see. Perhaps. I kind of want to punch him in the face. Blah, blah, blah. Iba is link. Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to talk to you. I want I, do, I want to take Mizuki home. I am not broken. Why would that? I don't care. Anyway, I get the story. Mizuki witnessed a suspicious person at the scene, but she didn't get a good look at them. Maybe there's something at the scene we missed. Date, could you return to the scene of the crime? There might be more to Bloom Park than we first thought. Yes. Okay. <sighs> okay. Okay. We can do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somewhere around here, right? Yep. Yeah. What do you care? You never cared about me ever. And I liked it that way. I don't want you getting close to me. You think I like you now because I hugged you after the sink? Did you think, aw, how sweet she likes me? Don't get it twisted. I only hugged you because you were standing right in front of me. Could have been anything. Could have been a pole or a cactus. In fact, I wish it were a cactus. So stop worrying about me, okay? So she says. Hmm. You saw that person standing here, right? A man? Yeah. What was he doing? I don't know, it was dark. But I think he was watching me. He was standing there in the rain with no umbrella. But I don't remember anything else. I got scared and went to hide inside the column. Definitely Renju. That's probably why he was sick. That why they kept describing him as looking like he was sick. Because he was standing outside in the rain. Why... Why do all this? How does traumatizing his daughter help his plan? Yeah, I do. What do you remember? I went to this amusement park when I was little. I was four. I remember it so clearly. This is where... I saw my mom and dad smile. I had so many happy memories here. Makes you wonder if it was one of the few times you saw them smile. The only happy memories I really have are from here. Memories of my family are so bright and colorful. But now, this is where mom... 
Well, we have evidence to suggest she didn't die here. Very impromptu family reunions for some reason. Mm. Nothing. Just wondering where this goes. Well, let's. Iba, what's past here? This leads to the subway. The subway? Quick, get away. Of course, closed down. It is no longer in service. Good chance to bring a body through. This is due to the explosion at the chemical plant that occurred years ago. Chemical plant, in quotes, as far the as I'm concerned. The surrounding district of Kawasaki was contaminated and declared off limits. Bloom mm -hmm. Park closed for the same reason. As did all commerce and industry in Kawasaki. This means the railroads and public transportation to and from this area were shut down as well. Mm -hmm. The subway. Iba, does the entire track run underground? No. The track leading northward from Bloom Park eventually rises to ground level. At a railroad crossing? Correct. Then the tracks must cross the surface street at some point. Correct. Park a car, get out, drag the body through the subway tunnels, dump it, and then leave. Iba, do me a favor. Can you see if any cars were driving on that surface street last night? Searching. Hey, you've been quiet for a long time. Are you okay? Does she know about Iba? I'm really wondering if she knows about Iba. I've got something. I picked up a single vehicle traversing that street last night. A black SUV. I ran the plate through the vehicle registration database to find the owner. Who was it? Shoko Nadami's ex-husband and Mizuki's father. Hold it! Renju Okiura. That POS. So let me get this straight. You think that Daddy drove his car on the tracks through the tunnel, stopped at the closed down station, and carried Mom's body to the park? I can't prove it was Renju. There's a chance someone else was driving the car. Yeah. Yeah. But, in any case, I know that the suspect must have used the subway tracks. Therefore, we that must inspect them. That explains why there were no cars parked near the scene. Using that subway station, we could take the body right to the merry-go-round without being caught on camera. Mm-hmm. Daddy didn't do it. I am not so certain. Either way, I have to talk to Renju. And you can help me find him. Oh, I hope. I don't want to say anything. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to anyone who thinks my daddy is a killer. Look, I don't want to believe it either. I've known him for more than five years now. Yeah. He's like family to me. True. I think about a week ago, when I went to hang out at Lemnus Gate. Did you notice anything different about him? Nothing really. He was the same as usual. And he didn't come to see you in the hospital, did he? No. Not even for his own daughter. Because he's a very unusual. He's a garbage father, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, we could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure he's a garbage dad. I don't remember. It was a while ago. What about you? What about me? You tried calling him. I did. I called earlier, and I tried a few times last night. 
And you didn't pick up? No. Hmm. Not a message about the suspicious figure. Hey, Mizuki, tell me again. The person you saw at the merry-go-round. No, it wasn't Daddy. I know it wasn't. You're sure? Well, I... I don't know. Mizuki, Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? What? I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. I got some help from them. Bad per... Daddy needs your help. Why not? Daddy couldn't have sent the message. Someone else must have used his phone. And his car. Daddy wasn't driving the car either. Somebody else did it. The killer did it, not Daddy. The only evidence we have so far leads to one conclusion. Mm. The cell phone and the car were both operated by Renju Okiura. Garbage parent. Date, incoming call from the boss. Oh boy. Connected. Hey, I just got the report from Iba. Renju is a suspect? He's definitely suspicious. I agree. I think he's our number one suspect. He's been acting strange since last night. He didn't come see Mizuki in the hospital, won't pick up his phone, and he vanishes after questioning. Yeah. He doesn't have an alibi for the time of the murder, either. He doesn't? No, not one we can corroborate. Delightful. Anyway. Uh, yeah. We'll keep going. Shoko's time of death was estimated to be about 5 p.m. yesterday. Renju claims that he was at home alone at the time. But that means no one can back up his story. Of course. No, I told you he vanished. Where are you headed? Renju's house. Don't bother. I had local cops search the place. They didn't find anything. <sighs> Where could he be? He didn't give us any new information. He didn't have much to say at all. Of course. So Renju was questioned at a local station? That's right. Then why didn't you keep him there? Protocol. Nothing we could do. He wasn't a suspect then, and we had nothing to charge him with. We couldn't hold him. Boss, let mm. me know if you find something. You too. Keep me in the loop. Where the hell did Renju go? Hmm. Uh, Sunpoke? What? Um, Sunpoke. Or something. I found it. Approximately 6.2. Hopefully, being wildly different means we get a wildly different kind of ending. Dear. Oh, that's different. Well, 
That's that's wildly different. Well, Renju. I guess we're Mizuki's dad now. Maybe get her out of there? Oh dear. Oh dear. Well. That's... Um... Yeah. Oh boy. How do you feel about that? You look awful. Have you been sleeping any? My best friend was murdered, boss. I don't have it in me to sleep right now. Hmm. I don't care for your opinion. Of course not. I still got a mountain of work piled up, answering to the higher ups, the press. I'm just taking a little breather. She's sleeping at the hospital. They're going to give her counseling after she wakes up. I see. It's probably for the best. Her mother and her father. I hope she'll be okay. Yeah. I I, I think we're going to be her new dad. I hope. You were the first on the scene, so you know this better than anyone, but... Renju was murdered. No way this is a suicide. And the fact that his left eye was removed tells me that this was the same killer as Shoko. The serial killer. Or something worse. The new Cyclops killer. What? That's the nickname that's been spreading around headquarters. New? Yes. Several years ago. Cuter. There is no point in hiding it from him. He would find out on his own eventually. Is that what happened to our eye? Or be a almost victim of this person? And then... Eyeball removed. And the kill was interrupted in some capacity. It's all over the news. These murders have gone viral, so to speak. The killings from six years ago have continued. The Cyclops killer is back. Six years ago? Is that what you were talking about, boss? <sighs> Fine. I suppose you deserve to know. Yeah. I'd better. Thank you, Peter. Still don't like him though. He is yet we to have a name for it down at HQ. The original Cyclops serial killings. I mean, perhaps Peter can redeem himself, but still, at this point I'm not trusting him. To distinguish it from this new one. It was six years ago in October. Four bodies were found in the mountains of Akikawa Valley. But the decomposition of the corpses were all at different stages. They were each killed sometime during May to September of that year. But they did have two things in common. They were all young women. And... Each corpse was missing their right eyeball. Pulled out posthumously. Okay. That would explain why... She thinks it's somebody else, because serial killers don't change their M.O.s like that. That's not how they operate. A few days after the corpses were discovered, the killer sent a statement to the press. I killed them, and they are now my dear companions. Something like that. He signed the statement under the name Cyclops. Hence the name, the Cyclops Killer. The Cyclops is a mythological race of one-eyed giants. According to Greek myth, they are the children of Uranus, god of the sky and Gaia, goddess of Earth. Cyclopes were known for their outstanding strength and smithing ability. Mm -hmm. So the letter to the press wasn't a fake? 
It was the real killer? Yes, it had to be. A picture of one of the victims right after she was killed was sent along with the letter. No, in six years we never got a single trace. So maybe Cyclops is responsible for these murders as well. Unlikely. No, that's impossible. Why? For one, the original Cyclops killer only killed women. Renju doesn't fit that profile. Second, all of the victims had their right eyes removed. But Shoko and Renju... We're missing their left eye. The timing of the eye removal is also inconsistent. The original Cyclops killer removed the eyes after the victims were killed. But Shoko and Renju were both still alive. But even so, you can't say for sure this isn't our guy. Maybe they're just doing things a little differently now. That is not how serial killers operate. Or do you have another reason? I'm sorry, Date. I can't say anymore. Bullshit, you can't. It's a national secret. How can it be a national secret? Date, please, forget about it. I told you already, you don't need to know anything about that case to investigate this one. The criminal for this case and the case six years ago are not the same. Iva, bring up all investigation records of the original Cyclops serial killings. I already had a look through the database while you were talking. Unfortunately, I found no relevant information. I also did not discover anything of note on the internet. Only amateur theories. All lacking credibility and evidence. Damn it. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to call it here for tonight. Hopefully, next time we get something happier or something closer to a happy ending. Or maybe I'll work towards that true ending that apparently exists. We'll, we'll see. Anyway, thank you everybody for stopping in and saying hello and watching. And I will see all of you next time. Bye-bye.